Hey guys, it's Tina here and I'm back with my mum. Today I'm going to give her a little makeover. I haven't done her makeup in a while so I thought I'd film and show you guys. My mum is 51 this year and with her skin type, she has a very oily skin type as you can see, there's lots of shine happening with her skin. Also she has a lot of large pores, I'm going to show you guys how to cover that with makeup. First, I'm going to start off with skincare. I'll be applying the Kills Ultra Facial Moisturizer all over mum's skin. Then I'll be going in with this new primer I bought from Japan. It's called the No Paul Bloom Primer. I kid you not, that's the name. And I'm going to pop it into the center of her face because that's the area that she has a lot of pores. So, no Paul Bloom. Next, I'm going to color correct mum's face using the Urban Decay Naked Color Correcting Fluid. I'll be using three colors today. I'll be using the peach for under her eyes. And I'm going to blend that in straight away. I'm going to pop a little bit more on this side. And I'm focusing that color on the darkest area, so that line here. Now you can see it's already brightened up her under eyes. I'm going to use a bit of that green around her nostrils because she gets a little bit red around there. And again, I'm going to blend that color in straight away. And mum's skin, she also has a little bit of pigmentation on the side, so it looks really brown. And I'm going to color correct that using that same peachy color I used under her eyes. So I'm just going to pop that onto those dark areas. For foundation, I'll be using the Estee Lauder Double Wear Foundation. I'll be mixing two shades together, Tawny and Desert Beige. I'm going to go in with the lighter colour first, and I'm going to apply this to the centre of her face. This will make the centre look brighter and give her face a more sculpted look. Next, I'm going to go in with the darker shade and apply that around the perimeters of her face. I'm basically contouring with foundation. For concealer, I'll be using the Urban Decay Naked Skin Concealer in Light Warm. I'm going to apply this concealer underneath her eyes to cover up any bags and darkness. And I'm going to blend it in with my Beauty Blender. You can see how much that's brightened up and because her colour corrected underneath, that area doesn't look ashy. I'm also going to apply that concealer on the bridge of her nose and on her chin and then blend it in. With whatever's left on my sponge, I'm just going to place it over her lid and just even out that area. Next, I'm going to move on to contouring. I'll be using the Pony Effect Contouring Stick. This is the Colour Confidence. I'm going to map out her face first. So I'm just going to contour the sides just right underneath her cheekbones. A bit on her forehead and her jawline. Using the side of the stick, I'm just going to draw two lines down the bridge of her nose. This will make her nose look slimmer and taller. I'm going to blend those areas in with my Beauty Blender and just work that contour back into her hairline so there's no harsh lines. For the nose, I like to use my fingers just to blend that nose contouring out. And I like to work it up to the brows. Next, I'm going to bake with my Laura Mercier Translucent Powder in that same Wet Beauty Blender I used before. And to set the contoured areas, I'll be using the Anastasia Beverly Hills Contour Kit. Now I'm gonna dust all that powder away Next, I'm going to move on to eyebrows. I'll be using the Kate Eyebrow Pencil in BR3. Because my mum has already tattooed brows, I'm just going to follow the shape of that. Then I'm going to use a bit of powder to blend in the front of her brow. I'm just using the same contour powder I used before. I'm just going to run that across her entire brow to set the brow pencil. Then I'm going to use a darker brow gel from Lancome to fill in the tail of her brow. 
Then I'm going to carve out her brow using the leftover foundation that I used before. For eyes today, I'll be using the Too Faced Sweet Peach Palette. I'm going to go in with this colour here and apply it all over her lid in the socket line. Now with my mum's eyes, you can see that the end here is starting to droop a lot. So I'm going to apply the eyeshadow to lift up her eye. So with her eyes open, I'm just going to mark out where the eyeshadow should go. I want this area to be quite high because it's going to give her that lifted effect. Once I've mapped it out, I'm going to get her to close. And I'm just going to blend that colour through her crease. <laughs> I was just complimenting her, saying, Oh, mum, you look so young. <laughs> she can be my sister. Really, she can. Then I'm going to go into this dark shade here and apply it on the outer corner of her eyes to create more depth. If you're doing someone's makeup and they have droopy eyes, it's important that you always check and get them to open their eyes. So you can check where your eyeshadow is going. Wow, mum. Wow. <laughs> She's so happy. She's so happy she gets a little makeover for me. And she gets to be on YouTube. Dẹp không? Ai đẹp? Mẹ đẹp hay? Mẹ đẹp con đẹp. Mẹ đẹp. To add some sparkle to mum's eyes, I'm going to use the Stila Liquid Glitter Eyeshadows. This colour is Kitten Karma. I'm going to apply it to my finger first and then my mum's lid because I want a sheer application. I'm just going to press that on to the centre and the inner corner of her eye. Look at that glitter. My mum. Then I'm going back into this colour Pure and I'm just going to run it along her lower lash line. Next I'm going to line her eyes with the Eye of Horus Bronze Amulet Goddess Pencil and I'm going to line her waterline. To smoke up her eyes even more I'm going to apply a bit of black shadow from the Sweet Peach palette. It's called Tempting and I'm just going to apply that close to her lash line and smoke it up. Now it's time for lashes. I'll be using these natural pair of lashes. These are actually my own brand, Petite Cosmetics. They will be released in a few months time, so please keep an eye out for this. I'm gonna pop a bit of black underneath her lower lash line. Then I'm going to go into Nectar and use that in the inner corner to right, just to add a bit of pop. Wow! Wow! <laughs> she's so excited, she's like looking at herself, she's like, oh my god, I'm so pretty. So that's pretty much the eyes done, they're super smoked out and I think it's just so glam on mum. I'm going to move on to blush. This is the new unfiltered one palette from NARS. I'm going to go for this peachy colour here. With blush, I'm going to place it quite high up on her cheek. Probably where you kind of put the highlight colour actually. This will lift up her face and make her look younger. For lipstick, I'll be using the Chanel Coco Rouge lipstick in number 6. Look at her, look at her preparing for it. She's like, I'm ready for it. Smile. Yes, smile. Smile for me. And this is the finished look. <laughs>